Good day, Simmers. Welcome once again to Samantha's Replay channel. And in this episode, we will go ahead and learn to do the pet glitch. Now, this tutorial is intended for Simmers or free, free play Simmers who would like to have more than two pets um, in their Sims homes or if you have the intention of creating a pet farm for your neighbors. So this is the, the way to do it. And um, currently, as we're showing on here, we have three lots that's owned by three different stems. So Joe Martin right here, let's go in this lot. Um, he is wanting to have six pets in his lot. So currently he doesn't have any pet and we will be buying a couple of uh, pets for him later on at the pet shop. And then going back to the Palm Promenade town map, we will be we will also be buying pet for the two other houses uh, this one right here is for Theron and this one right here is for Tess so let's go to the main sim town and go to the pet store and let's start out by buying maybe a couple of dogs for Joe and then uh, we'll alternate um, a kitten and a puppy um, on the other two houses. And I'll explain to you why it would be the younger version of the pets that we're learning to purchase for the two other houses. So this is this right here is the pet store. Um, let's go to dogs. And then let's say we wanna buy a couple of huskies for Joe. So, it's this one right here and that's gonna cost you 75 LPs per husky so we click to buy and then we are gonna look for Joe we're gonna look for our sim so this is alphabetical so just bear with me I have quite a lot of sims the next one I'm gonna teach you is the baby glitch so you understand why I have so many and how I'm, I'm able to do it so we have Joe Martin right here. So we're gonna select him. It says here he has no pets, but the others, as you can see, they have two pets. So we're gonna click on that, on, or on him, and click yes. So he already has one. Let's say you buy another, and if you're gonna click on Joe Martin again, he has one pet, and we're able to buy the second one. But if we're gonna attempt to buy a third one, it's gonna give you this error message. You can only have two pets per household. So we click OK. Now, remember we had two other houses earlier? What we are gonna do is, we are going to buy kittens and puppies. Now, the reason why we can only do the, 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 the not the big glitch, the pet glitch using kittens and puppies because there is no way for you to be able to carry adult pets okay there's no option for that for sims and so that means to say you cannot buy fairies dragons reindeers and the teacup pig if you're wanting to transfer them to a certain household if you're wanting a variety of pets like let's say for example you would like to have probably a fairy and a dragon at that house along with dogs and cats then you'd have you can buy a fairy and a dragon on the main house and then hatch them there or uh, get the, the fairy to bloom from a flower on the main house and then you can move on to getting um, maybe a couple of kittens and a couple of puppies but you understand that later why it needs to be a kitten or a puppy otherwise if you would like to have a reindeer perhaps a couple of them and then combine them with dogs and cats then you can buy a couple of reindeers send it to the main house as an initial uh, as your initial buy and then get a couple of puppies and a couple of kittens in the same note with the cup pig so it all depends um, on how you would want to have a variety but mainly for uh, simmers who want to uh, create like a pet farm it's mainly dogs and cats that they would like to be able to 
um, do the pet glitch with. So in this case, let's stick to that um, plan. So again, going back, we have two other houses who don't have pets yet, but we are not going to be buying an adult dog or an adult cat. We have to buy a couple of kittens and a couple of puppies. So let's start out with Theron. We're going to get kittens for her. And we're going to get a Persian. So click buy. And again, you have to look for Theron. So you have to go to letter T. Or let's start with Tess. I think Tess comes in first. Okay, there we go. So they're right next to each other. Oh, sorry. So let's click on Tess. She has no pet. Okay. And then let's say we want a different kitten. Let's say we want a, a Bengal cat or kitten. So let's get this one. Bye. And then click on her again. So now she has two kittens. And then let's get puppies for Theron. Let's say we want a poodle. So click to buy. And then click on Theron. She has no pets. And then maybe we would like to add let's see, a husky. So click to buy. And then select Theron. And then now we exit the store and then we go back to the town where we're going to be doing the pet glitch now let's make sure that the pets are there and for you to know you will be able to see the icon towards the left side of the uh, sim icon there will be a picture of a paw so it will indicate the number of pets that this household has. So for Joe, we got two adult dogs earlier. I believe we got two huskies. Let's make sure they're there. So they're here. So that's good. And now we're going to move back to... We're going to go to the other two houses so we can have Joe snatch those... Um, young pets so let's start out with tess's house so this is where we got the puppies i believe or yeah i think we have the puppies here so once we're in this lot you can see tess right there let's double check if the puppies are here yeah we got two of them no i think we got kittens in this lot so let's call on our pet snatcher or pet napper as they would normally call the person doing this you can you can have a couple of sims from the main house do this it would be easier but i prefer doing it with just one sim so call him there to that house and then have him carry one of the kittens so select the option that says carry kitten then wait for him to get in and then once he does that i would suggest you command him to go out here a little bit now the reason why we're doing that is because when you have chairs in the other lot they have a tendency to sit down with the, the kitten, so you have to have them stand up again. So once they're there, click on this sim decks, make this sim go home, click the home button, and as quickly as you can, exit the game. So again, once your sim is right here, outside the house, click sim decks, click your sim to go home, and then click to exit. My exit is this one right here. So let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and click for Joe to go home and then click to exit the game. Once I've exited the game, 
I go back in. Okay, wait for it to load. And then as you can see, if you look at Joe's icon on the same decks or the same tracker rather, it no longer has the home icon. It has the whistle. That means to say he's no longer there. So let's double check. He's no longer here. And let's see how many pets are here. Okay, we can no longer see the bangle. We can only see the Persian cat. Okay, so for us to make sure that Joe has the Bengal cat with him, we click on his icon to go to his home or his lot. And he's here and the Bengal is there. And what you're going to need to do is to click on Joe or the sim and then select put pet on the ground. There. And then you can now, you can either keep it as a kitten or you can grow it into an adult cat. So click on the cat and you would want to do that if you're creating a pet farm because kittens and puppies, they do not dig simoleons, they do not dig LPs. So they have to be adult, they're adult versions. So age to adult. And then if you have already collected pet biscuits, or birthday bit biscuits for pets from cake farms then you should have that in your inventory like I mentioned in my previous um, episode about pet farm so it will show something like this you have 963 birthday biscuits remaining would you like to turn this pet into an adult but if you don't have any birthday biscuits collected from cake farms or you haven't baked anything any pet biscuit then you'll have to bake one or you'll have to collect one from a cake farm, a neighbor's cake farm. So I'll click yes and it has grown into an adult Bengal cat. Now, let me show you how much it will cost you if you are going to bake a pet biscuit. It's costly. That's why it's important that you have a neighbor that has cake farms with pet biscuits so let's get this stove okay and then we select baking and then let's scroll down to the last one this is the birthday biscuit the biscuit that's used to age kittens and puppies and it's gonna cost you 15 LP for a biscuit it's gonna take a day for you to bake it so short, shortest way is to start collecting from cake farms. Not only the wedding cakes, collect the pet biscuits and the birthday biscuits for Sims. So we now have three, right? Um, let's go back to the town map for Palm Promenade or Promenade. And let's see what happens there. So you can see he already has three pets. Pets has one. Theron has two. So we're gonna snatch, have Joe snatch the other one. And we're gonna go in. Okay, let's just wait for that to load. And then call over Joe. And then once he's there, have him carry the kitten. So carry kitten. Let's try to have him go home without taking him outside of the house. Let's go to the sim tracker, click home, and then click to exit. And then we go back in. So it worked because we already have the whistle icon and we can no longer see 
Joe anywhere in sight and there are no more pets around here okay no we still have the pet so it is really important yeah, I just tested that out so it, it probably didn't work because I didn't have him walk outside of here so I'm just gonna call on Joe once again okay so it will give you this error message Okay, so I guess um, this one right here is just a, since we got that error message, that was just a, an indicator that this kitten is already with Joe. Okay, it's still here because we haven't placed it back on the ground. Okay, so let's go to Joe. Let's double check. Let's see if that kitten is there. It's actually here. Okay, so I kind of forgot that that part or that part of the pet glitch, but it's here. So just put the put the pet on the ground. Okay, and then as usual, click on the pet and then age to adult. And then voila. You have four adult pets on his lap. Now, let's go back to get the other two. Okay, so he, has, he now has four. And then she has none. So let's go to Theron. And let's have Joe snatch the other two one by one okay so let's call on joe and have him carry the pet the puppy have him move outside a little bit Then make him go home, exit the game, and then go back in. He's no longer there. So instead of us checking the place, because we know he's no longer there, let's just go to his place. And he's there. So... Click to put the pet on the ground and then grow the puppy and you have an adult husky. So he now has three huskies and a Bengal cat and a Persian cat. So that's five. So let's get the sixth one. Then we go back in once more. Okay. Okay, and we call on Joe one last time. And then have him look for the puppy okay, where did the puppy go I think we're looking for a poodle so it should be white where are you there there's the puppy it's following Joe. Okay. Come here, puppy. Okay, let's have him carry the puppy.
Okay, Sim Chase is gonna wait. Let's have him go out here a little bit. And then let's click for him to go home and then exit. And then go back in. And then we go to Joe. Okay, so he's there. And then click on the puppy. And then age it to adult. There. So let's go back. He now has six, right? He has six pets. And we go back here. And as you can see, he now has six and the other two has none. Now, the icons, the pull icons on these two houses may have gone just because they don't have their pets anymore because they've been transferred here through the glitch. But even if you move any of these sims to other houses, you will not be able to demolish this house. Not unless you are able to bring back the pet to that house and then relocate it or you're able to relocate it somewhere so let me show you what happens this is the setback of doing the pet glitch what if one day you want to have this you you want to have this house demolished right so let's say we transfer Tess to another house Okay, let's say we transfer her here. This is her original house anyway. So I'm going to transfer her back. Relocate existing sim. And we're going to look for Tess. And then we wait for her to relocate. Taking a bit of time. Okay, and Tess is here. Okay. Now we see that she has moved to this place. Let's go back to the mysterious island map or town map. And she already lives here, right? But no pets. If we go back to Palm Promenade, we check out the house that she vacated. Okay, you'll see that nobody lives here. There's no pets here. But if you click on the options, demolish house is not an option, even if nobody lives here. Now, how do you make this work? You have to remember where you place the pets. So in this case, we place the cats here because they were stolen or snatched or pet napped. So we go back in and then what we can do is we click on the pet, click relocate, and then click put up for adoption. That's how you delete a pet. And then click again, relocate the other pet, put up for adoption. So those two have been deleted. And then if we go back to the 
Palm Promenade Town Map. And we go back to that house to click on it. You are able to demolish the house. So that's just um, the reason why I included that in the tutorial is because a lot of people who do pet glitches don't seem to know that and when they start wanting to demolish a certain house and they forgot that they probably had the pet relocated or or they probably had their pet somewhere um, in Simtown or probably did the pet glitch they forget that they will not be able to demolish the house so that's the setback so if I were you if I'm going to plan to have a pet farm you have to strategize which houses you're okay with not demolishing and you're okay with not having pets um because that's what i did with my pet farm i had i really mapped out everything and made sure that this certain lot is something that i can probably just tear the house down and then build another without necessarily demolishing the lot and purchasing a new house Okay. so that's just about it um, I'm sorry that it took quite a while before I was able to put together the pet glitch tutorial you know life happened and I had to prioritize work because without my work I would not be able to play this game anyway so um, on my next episode I was planning to already walk you through on how to do the baby glitch but I have been receiving questions about some glitches, whether or not they're working. There were one or two or maybe just one of them that I noticed no longer works. But there's um, another way on how you can still make the glitch work. So I'd like to make that as my next episode prior to doing the baby glitch. So until the next episode, thank you and happy simming.